to VS channel. So, in this video, we will discuss about watchdog timer for MSV430. The watchdog timer generally we will see in microcontrollers that is digital design systems and which comes under timers but the general timers are can provide the time interval and can count the time measure the time for a particular operation but here the watchdog timer a primary function is which can provide the time and which can monitor the time whether the particular time is completed or not and then it gives the budget so that means which can used for a controlling of the system for suppose here to perform any function if you are using any software due to some technical problem the device is struck at while executing of this particular software there the processor does not move into the further operation or further step it will strike at the same point so because of that all other functions are going to strike so here but if you are using the watchdog timer the watchdog timer is provides a particular time interval and it can monitors the particular time so if before the completion of the time whether the function is not go, not completed then it will go for restarting the system so like this the watchdog timer we can use and here suppose the watchdog timer a uh, primary function is not required then we use this as a, a normal counter the normal interval timer so here after the interval time it generates the interrupts then coming to the features of watchdog timer the watchdog timer is having eight softwares eight software intervals that means for this no need to give the a time duration for a, a very interval that is provided by the watchdog timer so it is having eight different intervals other than eight if we, if any interval is required then we can give this but particular interval to the watchdog timer and we can perform two types of operating modes one is a watchdog mode and interval timer mode so here this particular real you know, watchdog timer can protects with a password which is having the password by using the password we have a chance to read the content of the watchdog timer or otherwise we can write into the we can write any content into the watchdog timer sometimes if the watchdog timer is not required then we have a chance to turn off this watchdog timer we, by turn off this watchdog timer we have a chance to save a little energy for microprocessor or microcontrollers so here this watchdog timer can perform two operations that is watchdog mode operation and interval timer mode operation under watchdog mode operation which can provide some time to for, to perform a particular task suppose within a time the function is not completed then the watchdog timer is waits to complete the time when the time is completed it give the indication to the user with a buzzer or with a led or with a any indication and coming to the interval timer mode it is operates just like normal counter just it provides some time for interval after the particular interval period it will it will generate some interrupts then here which is having two registers the one is watchdog timer register and other is a watchdog timer control register the watchdog timer register is system bit register which can consider the particular value that is a time interval value into the watchdog timer register and here there is no chance to access this particular timer using the software 
why because it is having a password that password is present in watchdog timer controller using the particular password only we can access this particular uh, register and if you want to read and write this particular data into the watchdog timer register so here we can use the word instructions this particular word instruction does not have suffix sometimes we can use suffix like dot w we know very well right dot w is indicate for word instruction dot b is indication for byte instruction so here it is a system bit that's why it's a word instruction now we can see watchdog timer control list so the watchdog timer control list also system bit size in higher byte it is having the password the password that is protect the content of the watchdog timer if whenever we are giving the uh, password the password is compares with the password that we are stored in the watchdog control register when the password is matches then only it allows for the accessing or modification otherwise it don't allows for accessing of the watchdog timer registers or control register and coming to lower byte this lower byte deals about uh, more functions here the entire function of the watchdog timer is controlled by this uh, lower byte only now coming to watchdog timer control list lower part we will see from byte 0 to byte 7 first we can see byte 0 and byte 1 sorry bit 0 and bit 1 the bit 0 there is a is 0 and bit 1 there is is 1 these two bits we can use for selecting of uh, at source of the clock so in general this watchdog timer is having two different types of clocks that is auxiliary clock subsystem master clock the auxiliary clock is a one which provides the low frequency like 32 kilohertz of frequency the sm clock the subsystem master clock that is provides the frequency in terms of edges so here the sm clock is always provided to the watchdog timer that is in normal cases we it uses the sm clock only whenever specifically which requires auxiliary clock then only watchdog timer is takes the watchdog auxiliary clock so here along with these two two bits we can take one of the bit that is a short select bit watchdog timer short select bit that short select bit can provides the clock that is auxiliary clock or sm clock if the short select that is s s e l bit if this bit is zero which can provide the clock as a system subsystem master clock if this bit is one then it can provide auxiliary clock so in this table so we are providing eight intervals that's why we are mentioned the first feature in the watchdog timer which is provides eight software interval periods these are the eight software interval periods these periods are provided to the watchdog timer by giving the information in ss el bit and is1 bit and is0 bit see here if you want to provide 32 milliseconds as a clock period then we need to give ss el bit as a zero is1 bit as a zero is0 bit as zero if you want to provide 1.9 milliseconds as a clock where ss el bit is one is1 bit also one is0 bit also one like this we can select one of the clock period among the eight software intervals that is having by the watchdog counter if other than this is required then we can give by using of the password right now here coming to the bit 2 that is a shorts select that is ssel just now we discussed that and here this particular bit is decides which clock is accessed by the watchdog timer if it is zero the subsystem master clock is accessed by the watchdog timer and if it is one auxiliary clock is provided to the watchdog timer and coming to bit number three the bit number three is WDT CNT that is a watchdog counter clear bit so counter clear bit 
So, if this bit is 1 means the watchdog time is starts its operation means it is going to reset with a value that is 0, 0, 0, 0 that is 0 value. It is a system bit register right the watchdog counter registry system bit register where we can store system bit data. So, the system bit means the system bits are 0 that bits are represent in hexadecimal like 0, 0, 0, 0, H. So, whenever this bit is 1, the watchdog timer is going to restart from the initial value, the, front, the initial values are 4 zeros H. And here bit number 4 that is a TM SEL, timer mode select. So, this bit is selects the one half the operating mode, which is decide which operating mode we are going to use for performing of the operation by using a watchdog timer. Earlier we discussed that the watchdog timer is provides two operating modes that is a watchdog mode and the interval time mode. So, if this TMS SEL bit is 0 that is a watchdog mode, the watchdog mode is a primary function that is why it is the first mode that is why 0 is indicates the watchdog mode. If it is 1 then it go for timer mode operation. Now, coming to the bit number 5. So, the bit number 5 is related to the non-maskable interrupt information. So, for, a, for MSC 430 we have a one input that is NMI slash RST bar. That means, the particular input is provides the information about non-maskable interrupt and reset input. So, here we do not know when it is performs a reset operation and this whenever when it is allows a reset information when it is allows non maskable interrupt information. So, here this particular bit is provides this particular information if it is 0 means this RST as NMI pin is provide the information about reset input if it is 1 means this pin that is RST bar NMI is provides non maskable interrupt information. So, here this particular interrupts are controlled by using of edge triggering. Why? Because the counters are constructed by using of flip flops. The flip flops are edge triggers. For that reason, here also the non maskable interrupts are use the edge triggering. But here we have two types of edge triggering. So, one is a positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering. Again, we have a little information is needed to operate this whether it is required positive edge triggering or negative edge triggering. So, for this again we have the bit number 6, the bit number 6 is NMI I, NMI ES non maskable interrupt edge selection. So, if it is 0 that is a rise edge, rising edge means that is a positive edge means where the clock is moving from 0 to 1. So, according to that particular rising edge, that particular interrupts are accessed. And if this bit is 1 means is a falling edge triggering. That means, the clock is moving from 1 to 0, that is a falling edge. That is, the non-maskable interrupts are occurred when the clock is moving from 1 to 0. Now, we can see the last bit that is a bit number 7. The bit number 7 is hold. That means, here we have a chance to stop the operation of watchdog timer. By stopping the watchdog timer operation, we have a chance to reduce the power requirement for the microcontroller and processor. Here, if this bit is become zero, then the watchdog timer is fully active. If this bit is one, where this particular counter is becomes stop, that means we are going to reduce the power requirement of the processor by using this particular bit. I think this uh, is provides a, a clear details about watchdog timer that we use in the microcontrollers or processors and uh, really in MSV micro MSV 430 microcontrollers also. If you like this particular video, please provide uh, provide your interest that is by giving off like and share this content to your friends and if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe VS channel and click on bell icon for future 
notifications thank you for watching this particular video